and Algeria custom roof and the potential custom roof. Today I'm going to introduce you an ETH mining motherboard, Jingsha D37, just in my hand. Wow, it's so long. This motherboard is from Jingsha. Jingsha is actually Chinese phonetic transcription, which means powerful shock. So far as I know, after purchasing this motherboard, many customers get into trouble in cable connecting. As you can see, there are so many headers on this board, but there's neither 24-pin power header nor EPS CPU 8-pin header. That's totally different to normal DIY motherboard. That's why I'm making this video. It will take you 10 minutes and you will be able to build an ETH mining computer based on Jingsha D37 motherboard by your own hand. Okay, let's get started. First, the montage motherboard and then PSU. Unlike DIY motherboards, Jingsha D37 has neither 24-pin power supply header nor CPU EPS header, as I have already mentioned. So you may ask, how could I power this motherboard? Two situations. First, if you are using a normal PSU, like this one, instead of connecting the 24-pin and CPU EPS cable with the motherboard, you actually need to connect this 24-pin shorter with the PSU. You will get this 24-pin shorter together with the motherboard. How to use it? Just like this. The 24-pin shorter keeps your PSU working once powered on. You see it? It's working. Okay, let's turn off the power and connect the other cables. To power the motherboard, we must connect these six pin headers on the side of the motherboard, which originally designed for graphic card. Don't get shocked once you see so many six pin headers. However, you do not need to connect all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, will be fine. You may say, oh crap, my PSU doesn't have so many 16 plugs. Okay then, let me give you a tip. Buy a new one, together with the motherboard. This PSU provides eight double six plus two pin plugs that fit the motherboard perfectly. By the way, if you'd like, you can also buy this BTC D37 case which is specially designed for Jingsha D37 motherboard. Oh, do not forget connecting the power button and the four cooling fans. Okay, finally you can show your graphic card, the most important component for an ETH miner. These are Jingsha Radeon RX 580 with 8GB GDDR5 video RAM. Push the card into the float at 19 degrees. Then you need to connect the 8-pin EPS header on these graphic cards. The cable on PSU is actually too short for the graphic card. Don't worry, you can buy 8-pin 1 to 2 splitters. Use the splitters just like this. For this graphic card with only one 6 or 8 pin EPS header, we use a splitter as an extension cable. If your graphic card has double 6 or 8 pin header, the splitter can also fulfill the requirement. How many splitters do you need depends on how many graphic cards you are using. Okay, let's power on. Another situation, if you are going to use a 12 volt DC PSU, you can use it like this. It's even easier than using a normal PSU. However, you have to buy these graphic card EPS cables. How many cards, how many cables? They are supposed to be used like this. The 6 pin header is for motherboard. The double 8 pin headers are for graphic cards. After building a miner, you need to install
for operating system, uh, Linux or Windows, both OK. And then you need to download the newest driver and install it. And then uh, download a mining software, register an account, or log in your own account. At last, you can start with mining. Now I have eight RX580 in my miner, so it's totally 240 megahertz. And then let's take a look at the power consumption. It's about 1,200 watts. Okay, thank you for watching, and hopefully the video will help you with building an ETH miner. See you next time. Bye bye.